Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Frankie Hardwork, and um, yeah, this video about the uh, Ti uh, Kodak beef. You know, I just made a big couple of videos where Ti, where Kodak basically was getting at Ti, but um, I just heard this song, man. I just heard this song, and I can't front. It's very interesting, man. And I'm gonna tell you my commentary when I come back. Um, something I kind of analyzed, you know. Just listen to the song. True story. Yeah, your boy back. So, um, wow. I don't know if you can hear this or not, but I'm doing the Birdman hands rub. Wow. Okay. That was that was interesting, all right? Now, I heard T.I. snippet. It was all right. T.I. Was, was going in, you know, was flowing and all that. And I just heard this Kodak song. You heard it too. But now I'm going to be honest, right? Now, from what I'm hearing right now, I can't lie. I cannot lie. I know a lot of people gonna be like, well, you sound you probably crazy, but Kodak kinda kinda did his thing on that on that song right there. I can't front. The boy kinda went in on some 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 hard gangster calm shit. You know what I'm saying? I, I can't get mad at that. And um T.I. song was alright, the clip that I heard, but I think T.I. might have to go back in that studio and change it up a little bit. I'm not I'm not gonna front. I think T.I. T.I. kinda underestimated Kodak a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. And the reason why I feel like that, because I could tell the way T.I. wrote this song and the way he came out with the clip it, I think he kind of underestimated Kodak Black a little bit. Because that first line Kodak Black said was a, it was a real, it was a slick ass line. I can't front. It was a slick line. You know, I can't recite it word for word, but he pretty much saying like, um, a wise man can play a fool, but a fool can't play a wise man. So he basically saying like, nigga, I'm, 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 I'm playing possum right now. And I kind of think that's what he did to T.I. in this situation. I kind of think that's what he did to T.I. I think he kind of caught T.I. a little bit. 
a little bit. Tiago had to come back off of this one, but I feel like he kind of underestimated Kodak Black a little bit. I think a lot of people did. And I think I'm even one of them. I'm, I'm, I'm even thinking I'm one of them because the way he came back on this song, I can't front. The boy went in. Like, I'll be alive. I see him be like, oh, Tiara. Nah, the, the boy went in so far. I'm glad. And honestly, he actually went the different route. You know what I mean? He actually went the different route and did it through lyrics. So it's like, uh, he being a young boy, but at the same time, it's like he playing T.I. at his game. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, this this beef is going to definitely be interesting. It's lyrical beef. That's where they should keep it at. That's what's up. It's, it's healthy. But I feel like T.I. might have to go back in the kitchen. I think T.I. kind of underestimated this little situation. I really believe it. I think he jumped out the window a little bit too fast on this one. That boy said, how you going to try to call me out and you know I don't listen? Listen, man, Kodak may not be the lyricist, the illest lyricist in the world, but the boy kind of, the boy put the words together on this lyrics, on this song, song. So you tell me how you feel about this song. You tell me how you feel about this beef. It's your boy, Frankie Hard Work. Like, comment, subscribe. But I'm really interested in what y'all think about this because this one is going to be kind of different. I'm not going to lie. I think this beef going to be completely different. It's your boy. Holla at me.